Customizing the ribbon interface is a powerful way to improve your productivity. And best of all, it's easy to do. You can add or remove the buttons you want on the toolbar. Simply right click in the graphics toolbar and select or deselect the buttons you want. They'll then be added to your graphics toolbar and will still be there for you the next time a Creo Parametric session is started. Now let's take a look at the Quick Access Toolbar, which is located in the upper left of the window. This is where you'll find your most common commands, but you can add additional, frequently used commands to improve your efficiency. The process is simple. Just right click on the command you want to add and select Add to Quick Access Toolbar. Now it's conveniently available at the top of the screen. Did you know that you can customize the ribbon along with the tabs, groups, and commands that are located there? One option is to expand features within a group by deselecting Minimize the Group, which expands a set of features permanently. You can actually customize anything on the ribbon. Simply right click on the ribbon and select Customize the Ribbon. This opens the Creo Parametric Options dialog box. With the Options dialog open, you can right click on any of the icons and change their size. Or even hide the command label to remove the text and just show the icon. Inside a group's drop down list, you can click and drag a tool into the main group area, making it more easily accessible. Want to move a tab to a completely new location? No problem. With the Options dialog open, select a tab to move and drag it to its new location. Notice that you also have the option to create new tabs, new groups, or rename tabs. If you'd like to reset the interface to the way it was out of the box, you can restore defaults. And if you'd like to save or share your customized settings, you can import and export them. As you can see, when it comes to getting work done faster, customizing the ribbon interface is a powerful way to boost your productivity.